In this video, we'll be discussing thoracic lymph node stations in lung cancer especially. This is the recent update by IASLC. I have made it very much simplified by drawing diagrams and also showing the lymph node stations on CT. So let's move on. IASLC stands for International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer Nodal Map. And these lymph node stations have a prognostic value and is divided into 7 zones and 14 stations which we'll discuss in this video. So the 7 zones are supraclavicular, zone 2 is upper zone that is superior mediastinum, zone 3 is iotopulmonary, zone 4 is the subcarinal zone, zone 5 is the lower zone or inferior mediastinum, zone 6 is the hilar zone including the interlobar nodes zone 7 is the peripheral zone or extra mediastinal zone each zone is divided into several stations zone 1 supraclavicular has just one station that is station 1 which is further divided into one right and one left upper zone that is zone 2 has three stations 2 3 and 4 Station 3 is divided into anterior and posterior groups. Rest all are divided into right and left, labeled as R and L. Iotopulmonary zone has station 5 and 6. Subcarinal zone, that is zone 4, has just station 7. Zone 5 has station 8 and 9. Hilar zone has station 10 and 11 and peripheral zone has stations 12, 13 and 14. You can come back to this slide after the end of the video because this will be easy to remember and understand after I finish explaining each zone and station individually with the help of diagrams. This is a summarization and we will discuss the names of each station. First station is supraclavicular. Second station is upper paratracheal. Third station is prevascular. That is 3A, 3 anterior and 3 posterior is retrotracheal station. Station 4 is lower paratracheal. Station 5 is subbiotic or AP window known as previously. 6th is paraiotic, 7th is subcarinal, 8th is paraesophageal, 9th is pulmonary ligament. We will discuss all these in detail. 10 is the hilar station, 11 is the interlobar station, 12 to 14 are the peripheral nodes or the intrapulmonary nodes. Let's discuss each zone and station in detail. Coming to zone 1 which has just one station, one right and one left. So, this is the cricoid cartilage and this is the clavicle. Upper margin of zone 1 will be the cricoid cartilage and lower margin of zone 1 will be inferior margin of clavicles. So draw a line in midline which will divide into one right and one left groups. All these are station 1 and these are above thoracic inlet. So if these are involved in cases of lung cancer, it is considered to have N3 disease. Let's see the same on coronal and axial CT images. These are one right, these are one left and midline will be the cutoff for right and left. Coming to zone 2 or upper mediastinum, let's draw the clavicles. Here is the trachea dividing into right and left bronchus and here is the internal jugular vein and left innominate vein joining to form the SVC. The superior border for zone 2 will be the thoracic inlet or inferior margin of the clavicles and inferior margin will be the carina. And here the midline does not divide into right and left rather a left paratracheal line will divide the zone 2 into left and right. So in order to divide zone 2 into multiple stations we have to draw a line in the lower margin of innominate vein. Whatever comes above this line will be station 2. Whatever comes below this will be station 4. So on the right side is 2R, left side is 2L. And below this line we have 4R on right side, 4L on left side. Let's discuss station 3 separately after this. Let's see the same on CT. 
here is the innominate vein above which is station 2 below which will be station 4 so let's draw a line in left paratracheal line to R and to L and below the innominate line it's 4R and 4L zone 3 is different because it's divided into anterior and posterior and not right and left so these are the vertebrae the trachea and the iota and the sternum okay and this is the sagittal section which we have taken whatever comes in front of arch of iota is prevascular group that is 3a and behind the trachea is retrotracheal or 3 posterior same thing on sagittal ct images this is the arch of iota this is the trachea okay and whatever comes in front of arch of iota is 3a retrotracheal is 3p and the same on axial images that was zone 2 now mo let's move on to zone 3 don't confuse it with station 3 which comes under zone 2 now this is the zone 3 iota pulmonary group let's draw the arch of iota now this is the main pulmonary trunk dividing into right and left this white structure is ligamentum arteriosum which is a remnant of ductus arteriosus from fetal circulation now ligamentum arteriosum will divide the groups 5 and 6 separately let's see station 5 and 6 the nodes below arch of iota above pulmonary artery comes under station 5 which are sub aortic group previously known as ap window now we don't use that term the nodes adjacent to arch of iota are station 6 or para aortic group of nodes let's see the same on ct images the one in red is arch of iota in first image next ascending and descending iota in the second image the blue one is the pulmonary artery sub aortic or the ap window group is between arch of iota and pulmonary the para aortic group is adjacent to the iota coming to zone 4 or the subcarinal zone this contains just one station that is station 7 let's draw trachea right main bronchus and segmental bronchi left main bronchus and segmental bronchi the upper limit of zone 4 will be the carina lower limit is different on right and left side on left side the lower limit is superior aspect of left lower lobe bronchus on right side the lower limit is distal aspect of bronchus intermedius so whatever comes in between this will be station 7 now the same we see on coronal ct images this is the carina this is the left lower lobe bronchus and here is the distal aspect of bronchus intermedius so whatever comes in between this the nodes will come under station 7 let's draw the zone 5 we have drawn trachea in blue with a carina the one in orange is the esophagus and one in the white are mediastinal reflections of visceral pleura so upper limit will be the end line of the lower limit of zone 7 a draw a line in midline which will divide into right and left so whatever comes adjacent to esophagus para esophageal will be 8r 8l whatever comes along the mediastinal reflections of pleura is station 9 9r on right 9l on left so 8 will be para esophageal group and 9 will be inferior pulmonary ligament group which are nothing but the mediastinal reflections of visceral pleura and lymph nodes over it now the same on coronal and axial CT images we can see the esophagus draw a line in midline on the right side is 8R on the left side is 8L and now these are the reflections of visceral pleura and whatever lymph nodes come along these will be 9R and 9L right and left respectively. So 8 is a paraesophageal group and 9 is the pulmonary ligament group. Coming to zone 6 which contains station 10 and 11. We are drawing the trachea, right and left main bronchus, both the lungs. Main bronchus divides into lobar bronchi. 
the both hylar nodes on right and left are labeled as 10r and 10l station 10 being the hylar station between the lobar bronchus it is 11r and 11l simultaneously on right and left 11 known as interlobar group between the origin of lobar bronchus the same on coronal and axial CT images. Adjacent to the hyla, both sides, it is 10R and 10L on right and left. Between the lobar bronchi, it is 11R and 11L on right and left side. Next is the last zone, that is zone 7, which contains station 12 to 14. After the zone 11, whatever comes peripherally is labeled as 12, 13 and 14, right and left respectively. 12 is adjacent to the lobar bronchi 13 is adjacent to segmental bronchi and station 14 are the nodes adjacent to subsegmental bronchi seeing the same thing on ct coronal and axial sections it's 12 13 and 14 the peripheral nodes or the intrapulmonary nodes let's revise and finish off with the video station 1 is Supraclavicular, station 2 is upper right and left paratracheal, station 3 is prevascular, station 4 is lower paratracheal, station 5 is subiotic, station 6 is paraiotic, station 7 is subcranial, station 8 is paraesophageal right and left, station 9 is pulmonary ligament nodes right and left, station 10 is right and left hilar lymph nodes station 11 is interlobar load nodes right and left station 12 to 14 are the peripheral or pulmonary group of nodes right and left side this one slide summarizes the whole video but in viva if you get a lung cancer case they will ask you the boundaries of each zone the names of each zones and stations so you can revise with the help of this video where I have simplified and drawn diagrams for you to help you remember the boundaries of each lobe and how right and left are divided. For more such exam related videos follow YouTube and Instagram handle of ours that is Radiology Doodles. Thank you.